What's going on YouTube? We back with another video. Today y'all finna have to forgive me. I'm doing some moving around today. I gotta make sure this house is ready for another tenant. Make sure this uh, is ready to, for these pictures. That's supposed to be happening in a couple hours. Make sure it's ready for that to be on the market. But in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be talking to y'all about why They arguing already. But now, uh, I don't know what's going on over there. That ain't my business. But today we're going to be talking about why my business had to shut down. She really mad. I hope they make her happy. But uh, we're going to talk about why my business has to shut down. And why I didn't have no power for more than one day. So y'all stay tuned. So we currently cutting. This is like on a Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Anyway, the owner tells me we can't. We're going to have to shut down Friday so they can have an inspection of the building that we operating in. So I'm like, an inspection? We got to shut down on a Friday. Anybody who cut out know the busiest day of the week is Friday. So I tell my guys, you know, they not happy about it so i'm trying to figure everything out we shut down on a friday we really just shut down half the day we shut down half the day i'm wait i'm outside waiting for the inspection to be done the inspection the inspector don't come till around two because they don't tell you when they come and they just say they coming on that day um waiting for the inspection to get done inspection happens around two it gets done around 3 30 i tell my guys like hey y'all can come in inspection done well first i hit up the owner to make sure that we was good to um start he said we was good to start cool hit up the guy say hey sorry about the inconvenience tell all y'all people sorry about the inconvenience but we can start back yeah we can cut as late as we want as early as we want to make up for the missed time or whatever so we cut that day um cut that weekend monday I get a phone call uh, saying how the lights are gonna get cut off. Well, all all the all electricity gonna be gonna be uh, cut off if certain permits are not being done or not done by Wednesday. I said, well, they did the inspection Friday. This is Monday Monday morning Monday morning I get this call. I said, well they did the inspection Friday. So they must be doing all that. They must have did all that Friday. Cause the owner said we was good to go. He was like, oh okay, well I probably um they probably haven't did put that in the system yet. It's probably about to. But if it's not done by Wednesday, if it's not done by Wednesday, it's getting cut off, but you shouldn't have nothing to worry about since they did it Friday. So it probably just take a, a couple hours just to hit my system today and you should be good. Sorry about the call. I said, no problem. So I'm thinking we good. Because the owner said we was good. And um, as far as I know, I've seen the inspection get done. The owner said we was good. The inspection got done. So I'm just relaying the message. I'm just the middleman in all this. So Tuesday, my guys is working. I'm about to give me a workout in. I get a call from one of the guys. And uh, he telling me the city is there telling me, telling them they not supposed to be in there. And one of my guys, he's he's like, I don't want to say short tempered, but he's like, he's like black and white. So, you know what I mean? He's not really in the best mood. Cause you already didn't told us we had to shut down Friday. You already lost money Friday. Now you're trying to make up for a Tuesday and you're telling him he got to shut down again. And it's for something that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's between y'all and the owner. So he's upset. So him in the city is going back and forth. The city inspector, him in the city is going back and forth. So you basically got, you basically got people going back and forth with everybody really in confusion. That's why, I like, in certain situations, I can remain so calm because I look at stuff from, like, a logical sense instead of just, like, 
Because if I get mad and I get to yelling and I get emotional and all that, that really don't solve nothing. The point of the matter is in that situation, well, certain things needed to get done because somebody didn't do it the right way. And it led to a bunch of confusion. So the, the city looking at like, bro, we told y'all or we told the owner, y'all, this place has to be empty and y'all still operating. And we coming from the fact like, no, the owner told us we was good and we could keep operating and that we didn't even have to worry about y'all anymore. So basically you got two people confused because of one person failure to communicate. Communication and stuff like that is really important in the situations like this that really show you that. So anyway, we go back and forth with them that Tuesday and the contractor was there, but the contractor who was there didn't even do the work and the city told them the plumber who actually did the work need to be there. But he wasn't there. I don't know what what happened. I don't know why he wasn't there. But anyway, the contractor going back and forth with the city. The city going back and forth with the contractor and going back and forth with the guys at the shop. It's the city inspectors. They give me the rundown. They was like, yeah, we got to do another inspection today. And uh, no, this business not supposed to be operating. I said, another inspection? Y'all just did one Friday. He said, oh, yeah, we, um, we had to come back because he didn't pass Friday. And we told him we was gonna come back today. And we told him it should be empty and have certain things fixed and he said he was going to. So the city told the owner what to do. Told the owner when they were supposed to be coming in. Told the owner that they failed. And the owner telling me I'm good to operate. Now you got me looking crazy in front of, in front of the guys that work with me. You got me looking crazy. So basically I get to the bottom of it, what's going on, what need to get done. Um, and stuff like that. Come to find out. Before, and the reason why I know because I did this to my last shop. This is another headache with the new shop. It's fixed now, but this is a headache. So whenever you about to rent out a, a commercial building, the place is supposed to get uh, inspected and it's supposed to, you're supposed to get a certificate of occupancy. They call it a CO. A certificate of occupancy is something that the city gives you that lets you know you are clear to occupy the space. And what this man basically did was he let us occupy the space without getting a certificate of occupancy done. We talked to the city and instead of, um, cause he did fail and we was gonna have to redo an inspection. Instead of shutting us down, we can operate because they know we didn't know. However, well, we got right that day. However, when they come back for their other inspection, we don't need to be in there. And we need to, um, we need to hurry up and get inspection, get all that stuff done. So I talked to the inspector and stuff like that. And once me and him got an understanding, he was like, he was all, oh, thank you for being patient with us and stuff like that. I said, it ain't really nothing to do, do with y'all. This is one of the easiest things you can do. I said, I already know what y'all do. Y'all inspect plumbing. Y'all inspect uh, the fire system. Y'all inspect uh, quality control. Y'all inspect the parking lot. He said, yeah, we do all that. And I was like, yeah, I already know. Y'all, I did this for the last shop. This stuff takes a week. But instead, he let it drag for months just because I don't know. The city left, we was in there cutting, and they told us we had until Friday or they was gonna cut everything off. So, we working. I'm trying to make sure stuff get done, trying to make sure that they rescheduled it. He's talking about, yeah, they supposed to reschedule it for, um, I wanna say that Tuesday or Wednesday. No, that was a Tuesday. They probably scheduled it for that Wednesday or something like that. Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. They had it rescheduled. So, cut the rest of the day Tuesday, no problem. We cut Wednesday. Why in the middle of cutting half? In the middle of cutting half. This is like around, this is around 11. Lights get cut off. In the middle of a head, out of there. So, I go in the back, energy outside. They said, yeah, we told y'all y'all had to Wednesday was gonna cut y'all off. I said, no, the city told us we had to Friday. Keep in mind, they did say Wednesday, but whenever we spoke to the um, 
They said Wednesday that Monday. However, whenever we spoke to the city Tuesday, the city, the city told us Friday. Gonna find out they not on one accord. They they didn't. Energy didn't know because the city didn't tell. Them. So rest of the day, power off. Can't do nothing about it because, like they said, Wednesday y'all supposed to get shut off. We going back and forth with the city, talking to the city. City saying they gonna talk to the to Energy. And then come to find out when I talk to Energy, they say yeah. The lights on. The lights been on for these past few months because we made a mistake. But we said he need to hurry up and get that done. A few months go by, he still haven't got it done. So it's like we was been not even supposed to be operating. So we we been in this place for months. Us not knowing him telling us, yeah, we gotta, uh, we good to go. We just been in there just doing business as usual, and we not even supposed to be in now. Finally, get in touch with somebody in energy. They fix it. Lights don't come on till like I want to say that happened Wednesday. Probably don't get cut on till like Thursday. I want to say or something like that. But anyway, it was like two days, no power. I said, "Come on, bro." So we already had to shut down la that last week that he told us to shut down for an inspection. They threatened to tell us to get out of the, the shop that Tuesday. Then Wednesday, the actual power is actually is is. Is actually shut off, so we couldn't even work even if we wanted to. Even if we was trying to do something, you know, we had no business, we couldn't even do it. No, you no power in there. So, I'm upset, because not only am I losing money, God, my God, the guys at the shop losing money, I'm like, come on, bro. Now it's like, I'm really getting mad. Because now it's just a bunch of, it's a bunch of unnecessary, uh, unnecessary stuff going on that's causing the business to lose money and with the most that the most thing that made me so angry about it is the fact that it's unnecessary the fact if you do what you're supposed to do before people even get in if you do what you're supposed to do the way it's supposed to get done certain stuff isn't supposed to happen like that so where was i we get the they finally get the lights cut on thursday the city was like oh yeah you got to friday like we said if they don't have it they're gonna shut it off so Thursday, the plumbers came. And when the plumbers came, they doing stuff, knocking off the list and stuff like that. One of the dudes talking about, yeah, I'm gonna be back at five o'clock in the morning. He only been there for an hour whenever he showed up to the shop. He only worked for like <coughs> an hour and a half, two hours. He said, I'm gonna be back the next day at five o'clock in the morning. So they come you talking about you gonna be back at five o'clock in the morning hey this is random but i have to after driving for so long whenever this happens i gotta let my like leg stretch like my leg gotta be straight because my knee will start hurting because it's been bent for so long i can't drive past a certain amount of time without it hurting so sometimes i have to park oh that joker hurt i had surgery on my knee so now that joker i guess this is something i gotta deal with i guess i don't know but after I straighten it out and it's straight, after so long it'll stop hurting. So I'm I'm used to it. That pain, that pain, something serious. But anyway, uh, so they come. Oh, it's hot. You can fry chicken out here. But anyway, um, anyway, so the the plumber told me he's gonna be back because it was plumbing issue. The plumber told me he's gonna be back at five o'clock in the morning. Usually, whenever a contractor tell me they're gonna be up at that time, they really don't come. But anyway, tell me it's gonna be up at five. I was like, all right, bro. I like, is it gonna be done by tomorrow? Because well, that that day was Friday, because the inspection is supposed to be done by Friday, and not only did that have to be done, it was two inspections that had to be done. It was uh, a plumbing and a final. I said, is that gonna be done by uh, today? Well, that day I told him, is it gonna be done by today? Because we need to have everything that they're gonna close us down. He was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll be done. I'll be done before uh before they come." So I'm like, "All right." So long story short, he I guess he was there in the morning. Um, I guess he was there in the morning, and then they came later. They came around lunch, or around my lunch. My lunch ain't regular lunch. I take my lunch later at a later time. They came around my lunch when I was about to go on lunch. And I asked them for our left. I say, hey, we passed. We good. They walked around and said, oh, yeah, you good. So after I got the okay from the city, the people were supposed to be inspecting. 
I said, okay, that's good. He was like, yeah, you go, you can pick up your CO in a few minutes. I said, okay, bet. Then after that, the owner and the contractor want to say, yeah, we good. You can, they telling me stuff I already know because I already talked to the city. But anyway, I got that fixed. That's just another, yo, that's just another hiccup I had to deal with with this, with this new space, man. And and this one was just so unnecessary. But like I said, the way it's supposed to go before you can occupy a space, you're supposed to get that joke inspected anyway just to make sure everything good. And that way you ain't got to worry about this stuff. And the only reason why I even ran into this is because I had to transfer. Oh, am I good? I hope my knee good. Golly, no it ain't. The only reason why I ran into this is because I had to transfer the lights from the owner name to my name. And that's when it was like, you got to call the city. And that's when the city told me everything. And that's when everything started like um, getting the ball rolling to even do this. If I would have let the lights stay in the owner name, which I wouldn't have did that. If I would have let the, the lights stay in the owner name instead of transferring them, ain't no telling how long he would have let this happen. Because the lights was only on in his name by mistake because they made a mistake and they they said it was a mistake they was gonna keep him on but he you gotta make sure you do this stuff with the permits he ain't never doing but that just goes to show him that just goes to show you like stuff be simple and people won't do it and then you got people who you got people who you'll look at and be like dang they got it going on or they did or dang they they got this they got that man you don't know how that person operate business you don't know how that person is getting that you don't know what them people doing you don't know how they um you don't know how they getting it, what they doing to get it, uh, if they doing it the right way, you don't know, type deal. So it's like, it be small stuff, and this is like really unnecessary, because it's like, for what? Why not do this? Why not get stuff inspected? All you gotta do is, they tell you get, they come in, the city come in, they tell you either pass, or they tell you, you uh, gotta do this, and then after that, you'll pass. Like for my last shot, they said, um, my water heater was old, and it had to be on a pan or something like that. So I got a new water heater and put it on the pan. Simple. I had to pay some money, but simple. It, I mean, I, I just don't get it. It be simple stuff like that. And that something like that that was supposed to happen before I even got in there caused me to um to not to not take no people, to not take no clients, and the guys not to take no clients. Something that simple caused the business to lose some money those days. I was like, come on, bro. Like, you can't be serious. But that goes to show you, like, a lot of times, but that's the way, like, I think. If I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's right or not to think that way, but a lot of times, I'll be like, bro, I got to make sure for myself that it's taken care of. Because not everybody you can just trust to take care of stuff. I don't know why it's like that. Like, it's not, a, if it was a perfect world, everybody would take care of they need to take care of, but it's not. I hope my knee good. I ain't got no choice but to be good. I'm finna go back. I'm finna go to this house. Make sure everything is ready. Oh man. So today, whew, this is just my morning, but it's almost over with. We have to get this house ready for these pictures. Man, we was moving like crazy. It, it's, it's one of them situations where it's like it's little stuff and you don't think it's gonna take that long until you actually do it. And it does take that long, but we got it done, pictures is done. Now we finna get it cleaned up. Some of this stuff still gotta move. It was bad, it, it, we was moving like crazy. Like, let's say she came in, we been battling with a bunk bed all morning, but then I called to try to see if we could, um, if we could move it to later. We couldn't move it to later and I told her what the issue was. She was like, you can just stand the, the bunk bed up and we could take pictures like that, so. I was like, we did that. Then we still had other stuff we had to pick up and clean. So when she came, it was on some stuff like, take pictures of one room that's oh, that's empty, the room that's filled with stuff. We're gonna take that all the stuff that's in that room, move it to the room you already took pictures of. Ooh, all that moving stuff around. But we finally got that done. Pictures is done. We still got some more cleaning we gotta do. And then after that, I gotta work on the paperwork today for the new tenant and just make sure it's ready for the new tenant to come in. Clean up, get it ready for the next tenant. Oh man, can't wait to put this joke on. Well now, since the pictures is done, it's really about to be on the market soon. I just can't wait for this joker to be sold. And on my hair, I'm finna see what's left, 
or when he coming back for the rest of this stuff and when they go do cleaning and stuff like that let's see what else needs to get done because oh man it's been a journey i had to get a work on that with some chairs and some plants just so i know it look a little decent but yeah like to piggyback off my last like i was saying like man they don't you'll be surprised how many people refuse to do like the small stuff the little stuff you you'll be surprised and you'll think it's just you oh i suffer with procrastination oh i suffer from this oh i need to get my stuff together because i'll be playing bro you're not the only one playing they got people with with million dollar businesses playing not doing the small stuff you got people with um uh, million dollar businesses million dollar properties stuff like that not doing the small stuff not taking care of their business so it's like you ain't the only one dealing with it but you do need to deal with it because what you what you not taking care of and what you not trying to do can fall back on others like simply just because he wasn't trying to do that that fell back on me and that had nothing to do with me but yo your way of thinking is oh it's gonna be okay Meanwhile, it is going to be okay for you because it falls on somebody else. That somebody else in this situation was me. So I wouldn't say like, I wouldn't say it's okay, but I wouldn't say don't be so hard on yourself because everybody deals with procrastination. Everybody deal with, everybody deal with, oh, I need to step my game up or I need to do this or I need to stop playing. That's why I'm doing videos the way I'm doing them. I'm doing them straight off my phone, not really that much editing, and I'm finna just post them. Why? Because I know if I edit them, if I know I gotta do all that fancy stuff like that, I know I ain't gonna do it. I know I am. And the proof is in the pudding, because when I look back in the past, ain't that many videos been posted. So to make sure videos get posted, to make sure I'm on, I'm routinely, and make sure I'm consistent with this stuff, I'm finna make sure I can do it in a way that it ain't gonna take much of <coughs> It ain't going to take stuff. It ain't going to take me to do stuff I know I'm not finna do type deal. Because I know I'm not finna edit. I know I'm not finna sit on the computer for an hour, two hours. Doing no editing and trying to find the perfect thumbnail. I'm not finna do that right now. Now, when the, when the, when the channel start and the content and, like, money come from different directions, then I can do that. But until then, you finna get this raw. You finna get it just like this off this phone with this with this little thing holding it. Uh, but yeah, like I said with the procrastination, don't feel bad. Everybody deals with it, but you need to get on it. Cause it's either you gonna suffer from it or somebody else gonna suffer from it. And no, no, and don't, it, it, it isn't fair for somebody else to suffer because of your procrastination. You know what I mean? And then there's also show you how big communication is. Like people fail to communicate and people fail to just say something. People fail to do small stuff. People fail to get on the business and people also fail to talk. People also fail to be like, all right, hey, it's actually this way. And uh, can you help me make sure this get like people fail to do that type deal. And that's crazy to me. All you have to all you have to do in certain situations is talk. So, man, this is another video basically just showing y'all the headache I had to deal with. Oh, this was not. This was not uh, this was not easy, but now. We should be good. I got the certificate of occupancy. The certificate of occupancy. Work is going straight. Back to business as usual. Now we just trying to make sure we, um, now I'm just trying to make sure certain stuff get done. Stay consistent doing certain stuff and try to add whatever services uh, I want to add and try to add whatever needs to get done for the business and stuff like that. So this is another video. I think this one's probably like a short one I don't think this one's too long um, But anyway, here's another video Y'all like, comment, and subscribe And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one